Um, I, I, I did too. I did too. Let's move on from there. We will move into the Baltimore Ravens. Now, they needed linebacker help. Maybe not much. Uh, they needed edge rushing help. Maybe not much. And they, they, they didn't have a whole lot of holes. This was the best team in football for 13 of the 17 weeks of yeah. the season. Um, and then, it, <laughs> you know, their uh, other biggest need was wide receiver. I mean, they didn't have a, a ton at wide receiver. Obviously, this is a rushing offense. Uh, but you get another speedster, and, yeah, you're going to be all right. So, you know, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm with you. So, what did they do? They went out, they got Patrick Queen, linebacker out of LSU in the first round. They got J.K. Dobbins out of Ohio State, uh, running back in the second round. They picked up a defensive lineman, Justin Matabuki from Texas A&M, and he was kind of a stud. He, he's one of those projects. You're going to have to stay on him. You know? You're going to stay on him, but they got some monster. Yeah. Uh, Devin Athletic Duvernay. wise size-wise, strength-wise. Oh, he's unbelievable. Ain't a whole lot. You, he's a guy that you got to watch, but, man, he's got potential to be a beast. Yeah, uh, just I know the drug said just because you dominate opponents on the schedule doesn't necessarily make you the best team in football. They had clear voids at the wide receiver position. Yes, okay. agreed. Right. We, we will. But they, we will. Don't, but they don't throw the ball a lot. So while they have voids there, however, okay. they can throw the ball more because obviously they needed to against uh, against the Titans. Right? Uh, he said, "Great show, guys. I'll be back." So appreciate absolutely. that. Absolutely, we appreciate uh, any new followers that come in. We do this every day, uh, sometime after four thirty Central. So. Uh, we do appreciate anybody that wants to jump in. But, uh, but yeah, he, he's right. They they did need wide receiver help. Obviously, they addressed that some last year in the first round with Hollywood Brown. Now, he was banged up a lot of the season. They do have a lot of veteran experience at wide receiver, um, but they, they need some younger guys, and they got that. They, uh, they went, they got Devin Duvernay in the third round, wide receiver out of Texas. They got wide receiver James Proshe out of uh, SMU and, and picked him up in the sixth round. And it's, you know, you take a flyer on a guy that can fly. Like, he, he's ridiculous. He was unbelievable in Sonny Dykes' offense. At, you get fast guys and guys that can actually run real routes, and that opens up so much more for that running game, which now has some ridiculous talent at running back. And, obviously, you've got Lamar at quarterback, and we all know he can run. So, yeah. it, they, they keep building around this style of offense, and nobody really has been able to figure it out yet. So... You know, yes, they got stopped by the Titans in the playoffs. That's going to happen from time to time. It is what it is. But, you know, they it's not like they were demolished by the Titans. They missed out on some fourth down opportunities, and it completely flipped the game around. And that's it. I, I like the idea of being strength on strength. You know, that that's, that's my philosophy in life. Yeah. Is if you're really good at something, just go all in on it. And your weaknesses are always going to be your weaknesses. But, uh, Al Davis used to believe this, okay? Now, not that Al Davis's line of thinking was always great, all right? But he believed in strength on strength, and he used to talk to his general managers and his personnel guys about baseball all the time. And he was like, ah, you know, if if you got two 20-game winners, but you can't – pitchers, but you, but you can't hit the ball, don't trade a 20-game winner for a 40-home run guy. That doesn't help you. Now you're just mediocre at both of them. You know, trade whatever offensive player you got, get a third 20 game winner, put strength on strength in there, and you can't be stopped. Yeah. You know, and I just, I just think don't worry about the things you're not good at. Be really, really exceptional at the things you're good at. What are the Ravens good at? Running the football. Yes. They got maybe the best running back in this draft yeah. at running the football behind Lamar Jackson. I think it's going to be scary to stop those guys. I oh, really do. 100%. When you got Ingram in the backfield already, and now you got Dobbins as well. Uh, just say no to drugs on Twitch. Said one more comment before I roll, and you'll like this one, Chris. Justin Jefferson was the steal of the wide receiver class. So I, I was going to comment now, that, on that why wasn't for they the Ravens. Go, I appreciate that, by the way. Why they didn't go to the uh, the the wide receiver route in the first round is because five or six of them were taken before they had gotten there. Yeah, and I don't think they wanted the set, which I disagree with. I would have probably. If I needed wide receiver help, I wouldn't have been upset to, to get T. Higgins, okay? I, I think that guy could easily be – we could look back in three years and say, oh, that's the best wide receiver in this draft class. Yeah. And I don't know that we'd all be blown away, all right? That that kid has all the makings of being elite. Um, but Jefferson, uh, a lot of people assumed Ruggs was going to fall because we thought Judy and Lamb were going to be the first two taken. 
and and the Ravens. There was a lot of talk that they might move up to go get him. When when Rugs went, Judy went, Lamb went. I don't think there's anybody else they're moving up to go get. Yeah, I agree. And, and if one fell to him, I think if Jefferson would have fallen to him, they would have taken him. I really believe that. Um, but, but he I chimed back in. He said, "Yeah, I'll take Jefferson over Judy Lamb and Rugs." I don't. I don't know that I, I, would don't, do that. I don't know where this guy's from, but checks in the mail. <laughs> Show me a Venmo. Uh, speaking oh, yeah. on Bounce. speaking on the uh, on the Ravens, McKinnon jumped in as a Falcons fan. Lamar has always appeared to me as a better Mike Vick, better arms, better legs, especially better mentality in regards to learning and professionalism. The dude is just astounding in every capacity. Vick might have had a touch better speed and moves, but it's splitting hairs at that point. Uh, yeah. And then Michael Fritz jumped in. I take him over Rugs, but not Judy and Lamb. And then um, Justin Odadrug said, "Numbers don't lie, baby." So, you know, I understand he had a crazy year last year, but uh, I don't know, man. If you go and, and actually dig into those numbers, you know, he, he was really good. He was elite. You could, but you could do that to Judy and Lamb. Yeah, you could do it with just Judy about anybody. Rugs, definitely. I mean, we'll, we'll see. Obviously, we will see. Rugs got uh, 40 balls last year, okay? At the end of the day, in a game in which these guys catch 100 receptions a year. Wait, wait, Rugs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he caught 40 balls. I thought you said he dropped. I was like, he caught no. <laughs> four, when, when these guys come out of seasons with 100 catches, yeah. he caught 40. That While he did a lot with a little, he still only caught 40. Yeah, that's you're, you're 100% right. You're 100% right. Um, let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap up the Ravens here. I I like what the Ravens did. I, I thought it was, you know, it, it wasn't as good as, as the other two that we've already been over. Uh, yeah. But as far as like or dislike, I like what they did. I thought it was good. I, I like what they did. I like that they went strength on strength at the running back position instead of going. Um, oh, hey, hey, before before we close them out, uh, uh, round seven, they took safety Geno Stone out of Iowa. I, I meant to bring this up. Steal of the draft, in my opinion. That kid is freaking ridiculous. Like, he is I, Iowa had a lot talented. of guys drafted, and I think all of them have potential to be good. The the fact that this guy fell to the seventh round, I thought he would be gone in, in three or four. Like Safeties, I, I, man. I, I unbelievable. I can't explain the league. I know wide receiver, the wide receiver position has become so valuable in the NFL. I get that. And so we assume, well, that means the cornerback position has to get more valuable. There are more ways to defend somebody than locking somebody up man-to-man. I mean, there just are. Yeah. Now you're you're 100 right. I, I but I have a different philosophy than all these guys, and they get paid to do it, and I don't. And I just I wish I did. I would love to have the opportunity to build a team in my image the way I want because I just wouldn't spend that much money on it. I would no. I would get them in free agency the best I could. I'd spend a lot of money. I would spend a lot of draft capital on them. No, it makes sense. Makes sense. But, um. All right. So we we both like the Ravens. 